Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of the My Player Career Mode. Today we're going with episode number 31 and we only start with a game against Shaka and then potentially a game against, I don't quite know who that is off the top of my head actually, Basquitas and then we might even play the game against Cologne, I'm not too sure depending if we get picked but we are picked for this game against Schalke and I believe we are up front, we are indeed up front so that is absolutely fantastic, hopefully we can have a good game up front, I'm, I'm hoping so anyway, it would be nice to get a good performance under our belt, obviously if you haven't already, go and check out the last episode, we had a pretty good episode actually, we did quite well and you can see that is a team we're going with, pretty much the standard Leverkusen team, we are replacing Kiesling up front at the moment, so I'm not too sure whether that's going to be more of a permanent thing or just because you know Kiesling's played a lot this season and last season and maybe the manager wants to give us a chance to shine so hopefully we can pick up a goal here it's going to be a difficult game obviously Schalke are interested in us so I mean if we do well they'll probably come in with an offer but I don't particularly want to go to Schalke I would like to move away from Germany in the summer but nevertheless we'll do our best um, Schalke are a good team but as I said we have already done the Bundesliga with Leverkusen so it would be kind of pointless to just to stay in the same league I'd like to move away and let's see what we can do here straight off the bat maybe get something going would be nice Donati down to Castro come on let's try and find some space here we are in good space here but doesn't look like Castro is looking to find us he's gonna pass it back out to Donati he can try and maybe work across into the box it's come down to us we've what the hell why didn't we header it properly that would have been a chance to score there as well that's really really annoying actually Schalke on the attack here. They haven't really done too much. This is their first proper attack of the game. And Nudstad has managed to be tackled away from the ball from Castro and Tanati there. Does go out for a corner though. Sydney Sam is going to be the one to take it. And so we try and get the ball back here. We'll try and get a through ball coming in. We've managed to get it. We've oh, lost the ball straight away. I don't feel like the team are attacking. I think we actually went defensive. We've now gone attacking, which is nice. We are going to try and push for a goal. I reckon we can beat Schalke if we try hard enough. We've got the ball here on the edge of the area. Oh, I take it with the edge of the left foot. It didn't quite work out. And it looks like Schalke might get a chance to get on the counter-attack. As I said, they've only had really one opportunity. and it was, but they, don't even, they haven't even had a shot, let's put it like that. That's how poor they've played. And it doesn't look like they're going to get anywhere because we are defending quite well. I would imagine us to get the win here, but it's just going to be getting the goal. Could be a bit of an issue. Can't get that. No, no. There we go. I can't go for that. Let's try and maybe get a little counter-attack going just in the last few minutes of the game. Or in the half even. We'll try and do roulette around him. Not going to work. Oh, it's, it's annoying. This, this formation that we're playing, I think it's a 4-2-3-1. For some reason, the other players on the team just don't want to go forward. So I'm like the only one going forward, which means I have like five people to take on. It just makes it really difficult for me to try and score or even help the team score because we just don't get anyone. You can see there, they haven't even had a shot on goal, which is just absolutely horrific for Schalke and... I mean, we haven't done too much better, so let's see if the two O four 4 teams can actually do something decent here. I've actually been moved to right striker, and Kiesling has come on, so maybe that's a thing to come. I would love the manager to play this sort of formation every game, so we get a chance to play properly up front with Kiesling. It would be fantastic. This is a really good chance here. Nice cross into the box. Get your head on it, son. Top rack, please, bro. Oh my god, if that had been Keesling, that probably would have gone on. But we have now been moved to right striker. That is so annoying. I just, I cannot believe Top Rack missed that. That's like one of the, probably the best opportunity we've had the entire game. And he's absolutely fluffed it. We've got a bit of space. Oh, that's going to be the end of the game, guys. Unfortunately, we do draw nil-nil. Really unfortunate. I did find out the name of the Bayer Leverkusen manager as well. It's Roger Schmidt. So, now I know that, it makes it a little bit less awkward at times, but we are still at 77, and that was a pretty poor game, to be honest. We really didn't do a lot, and I'm just hoping that we can improve more in, you know, coming weeks, and hopefully the manager goes with a 4-4-2 again, so I really like that, actually. You see, 19 games, we've had 15 contributions, so we're actually doing very well. Um, for some reason, my controller has decided not to work. I'll be right back. There we go guys, the game actually completely like froze for a minute, my controller just stopped working for some reason, I was a bit worried that we are going to lose the progress of that game, but hopefully now it continues to work, and we've got the game against Pesquitas, not too sure if we're going to get picked or not, I mean if we do get picked we won't be picked for the game against Cologne no doubt, but we have been picked and we're up front again, so we are clearly 
getting ahead of Keesling at the moment, which is very, very nice. Um, I don't know if that will continue for long. What the fuck? I didn't even press... Oh, God, it's done it again, guys. This game today is so, so slow. You can see the menus are actually lagging like crazy, which is really annoying. And it's done it again. Every time you back out of something, it freezes a little bit. So I'm trying to move... There we go. You know, this is... God, this is painful. EA, what are you doing? Why is career mode having to suffer for shit that goes on in Ultimate Team? You know, this is probably Ultimate Team's fault that they've fucked the game up. And it's making this so damn slow. So hopefully... We can do well. Up front again. I imagine in the second half he'll do much the same. Um, Roger will do. Roger Smith will do much the same as he did last game, which is put Keesling up front alongside me, hopefully. But we are starting off as a single striker, which is fine by me. And let's just hope we can get a, a victory here and possibly a goal, because sometimes I feel we can go through droughts in the my player of not scoring, and we need to make sure that we're scoring at least. I want to hit 20 goals by the end of this season. So it's only another five. No, another seven, I think, because we've got two assists, haven't we? So, another seven, and I'd like to get another three or four assists. So, there definitely is something to aim for. Basquitas most really known for having Denver Bar in their team. Not too sure whether he is going to do anything, the former Chelsea man. Um, obviously, only really well known because uh, he was the infamous person who took advantage of Steven Gerrard's slip. But no one really cares about that. All we care about is getting the win so let's see if we can do that and we do have the first attack of the game here we'll try and do a Ronaldo chop we've done it that's a f penalty that is a penalty wow that's a bit of a dodgy one there don't know if we actually were inside the box there didn't really look like it was on the line but clearly the ref by the looks of it has put that down as a penalty we are going to step up to the penalty spot this is a big moment for us um for some reason we're not actually we are getting to step up to it Let's see what we can do here. This is a big moment for us. I don't think we've scored a penalty this year. I don't know if we've scored one at Leverkusen or not. But let's not let the team down because that would be so damn embarrassing. Nice bit of power there. And we have managed to score the penalty. And we've got plus one curve. 15 out of 15 goals from finesse shots. Even though that wasn't a finesse shot. But whatever. There's a very nice penalty there. We've obviously got the little Ronaldo hips on the uh, hands on hips. Um, start celebration and that's that's pretty good you know that's a nice penalty there he went the right way so it was lucky to actually go in to be honest but nevertheless we have scored a penalty and that is by Leverkusen 1 Besiktas 0 Besiktas are coming straight back at us though definitely not too happy with that penalty decision in literally the first five minutes which is pretty crazy one of the most craziest starts we've had and you see here the guy who did get booked I'm not gonna try and pronounce some of these guys names because they're just literally impossible no no keeper Oh, keeper, please. Leno, please. That would have been awful if he conceded straight away after scoring. Right, again, Besiktas really trying to attack here. It's going to be interesting to see if they do get him back, back in the game. I would imagine they will. Just judging by how quickly they've come back into it, trying to just get back on the attack and get a goal back. So, so we can just dink that over into Shalhan Hoglu. He's going to take the shot. That's a pretty poor shot. To be honest, definitely should have probably tried to carry it on a little bit more or maybe pass it out wide. That's me a foul there on the edge of the box. I think we were the ones who got fouled. We were. This guy here is going to get a yellow card. And Besiktas are playing a very dirty game to start with. They've already got two yellow cards, which is pretty bad considering we are only 26 minutes into the game. And Denver Bar here, is he going to find anyone? He might do. He's found a bit of space out on the right for Tora. He's going to pass into Uzkapuk. Really hard to pronounce these names. They are obviously are Turkish. I'm not Turkish at all. And it is a little bit difficult. So do, I do apologise if the names are absolutely horrendously um, butchered. Offside, Brandt. Oh, that is offside, unfortunately. I tried to be a little bit more team... Team what? A bit more of a teammate. But rather than taking the ball myself, I attempted to pass it to him. But unfortunately, it was offside. That would have been a great opportunity to get ourselves an assist. Even though he did end up hitting the post, which was a little bit unfortunate. We've managed to go round our man there. We're going to try the Berber spin inside. We've done that. Can we finish it? Oh, what a save from Zengin, the Besiktas keeper. That was an absolutely lovely opportunity. The Berber spin worked perfectly, and we just had to finesse it, and unfortunately, it didn't work. That was really, really frustrating. Take the shot. It's hit the bar from the corner. No way. 
We have been absolutely robbed of a goal there. That was, oh my god, that is so frustrating. We should have at least scored one goal from either of them opportunities. We are through again. Can we do much the same? We can. We get round him with the Burbers. We take the shot. This time we finish it. And that is our hundredth shot on target. And our second goal of the game. We are on absolute fire this game making up for the two missed opportunities there again just absolutely done in with the burber spin he just couldn't catch up with us and we managed to fire it past zengen he's not making a good save that time and that is a lovely finish there yet again we are finding our form maybe we can get a a, a hat trick that is not really a perfect hat trick but i would love to attempt the hat trick and that is going to be by leverkusen to Beskitas nil that's a lovely ball through from chalhan hoglu can we get our hat trick Hat trick! Oh, we've hit the post! We have been mugged off this game. I'm not going to lie. Look at that. Did it get deflected? I swear it just hit the post. It's gone out for a corner, though, which is a bit strange because it did only hit the post. We're going to try and do the corner glitch again because last time we did it, we got the post. But some nice ball into Denver Bar. Can they get back into the game? I hope not because we have had such a good game here and we are on a really good rating, which I know won't last. But. I'd really like us to win this game. It's a big game. Obviously, EuroLeague is a competition that we are more than capable of winning of. Obviously, we won the league last season, so winning the EuroLeague shouldn't be too much of an issue. We're going to try and dink that over in to Challen Hoglu, and he's missed another opportunity. We really need that assist. We've got the hat trick. Oh, my God. I cannot believe we have just scored that. That is one of the most ridiculous goals we have ever scored in my player series, and that is another hat trick for us. Holy shit. I think that's like our third hat trick this year. Look at that. What a fuck up from the keeper. Goalkeepers, guys, are fixed in FIFA 15. I'm telling you, they are just incredible. And we do it with our left foot as well, which is nice. Getting another left footed goal. And that is horrendous. Unfortunately, we didn't get the assist, which I'm kind of annoyed about. But getting a hat trick is even better. So this game is looking absolutely phenomenal. And hopefully, maybe we can get an assist or even more. May Imagine getting a fourth goal in this game. That would be ridiculous. Right, guys, that is the end of the game. We get a hat-trick yet again. We are on some ridiculous form right now. Just hoping it can continue, to be honest, because it has been such a good couple of games recently. We've had a game or two where we haven't done so well, and then we've picked it up. And you can see that 9.8 rate, and we've gone up to a 78 as well. And it looks like we might keep our place ahead of Kiesling for the minute, which is really nice, actually. Getting a chance to play up front, you can see how lethal we are when we are up front. And it's just so, so nice to be able to have the opportunity to play as a striker so let's hope the manager continues to pick us there and you can see we've got 12 goals um well we've got another three on top of that but we haven't been selected for this game which is no surprise i actually want to go and get rid of the long sleeve shirt and make my guy just a little bit bigger i feel that we're very weak and we are very skinny obviously i'm not very skinny in real life so it would be more realistic a little bit to have the guy a little bit larger and we obviously do have another game against Beskitas where hopefully we can do just as well that will be in the next episode obviously 20 games 16 goals and two assists is really really good for a person who normally plays out on the right wing and only ever gets about i say we've had about six or seven matches this season at striker not even that so did we complete all of our targets i don't know if we did and look how laggy these menus are guys it is actually painful i'm not going to lie it is so so painful at the moment to try and do anything and i just want to see our objectives that have just now disappeared which is really annoying because i wanted to see how we were doing but whatever we obviously are doing pretty well with all of our objectives if we can just get some assists we should better complete them all we are playing up front again the manager seriously is relying on us as a striker which is just absolutely fantastic and what i do want to do and do as i said is just change the guy a little bit i'm not liking the like the long sleeve shirt type thing i think we should um just have completely none. Oh, look how pale we are. We are pale as anything. I kind of like that a bit more. You know, he looks a bit more of a, a G. There's no difference between that. Yeah, I like that a bit more. We're not we're not capting, I don't think. You can see, I, I just prefer it when he's like that, to be honest. And we can't, like, make the guy any bigger than he already is, but... Yeah, the hair as well. I don't know why. I know it's completely irrelevant. I just I hate the hair that we've got right now. It looks so dumb. Um, I don't know what my my hair in real life is quite short now. I've actually had it cut, um, so it's not like as messy as it used to be. But, I mean, that kind of looks good. But I just wanted to change the guy up a little bit. You know, it's we see the same. That kind of looks cool. We see the same guy obviously every episode. It's nice to have it a bit. A bit different once in a while. So we're just kind of seeing what sort of hairstyles. 
are there. I guess mine's sort of like that, long on the sides, kind of short on the back. Um, it doesn't have to be like me, that's not what I'm trying to go for here, clean sideways. Looks a bit like an old man there really, don't we? Spiky top, shaved sides, that looks just, I hate that kind of haircut. I think we're just going to go with the knee, or are we? I don't know. Maybe the spiky, middle spikes. That's what we're going to go with. Uh, the colour, I, I think, just looks a bit off as well. It looks very, very pale. My hair is not pale at all. Um, not that pale, anyway. It is blonde, but... A bit darker, maybe. Skin colour as well. Like, I don't know. It, he just looks so pale, and I don't know why. Complexion, that's the one. But then if you make him any darker, it's just too much. Which is annoying, so I can't really find the right complexion here. I'll get back to you guys once we do actually find what I'm looking for here. I have actually decided just to leave it, but that is going to be the end of this episode. Obviously, in the next episode, we will have the game against Basquitas again. Hopefully, maybe going for another hat trick. Very unlikely that would happen, but it would be fantastic if it could. Anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed this episode, if we could hit five likes, as always, that would be absolutely fantastic. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one.